In this two-minute tutorial, I'd like to show you how to call out your images using the focus masking in Capture One. Hello, I'm Natasha Kalsadi with Sammy's Photo School, and let me show you how to quickly use the focus masking in Capture One. Here's a quick way to check your focus in Capture One 21, but this feature has been in Capture One in many previous versions. So here we have a photo shoot, and uh, I would like to see which ones are in focus and maybe possibly which ones are out of focus. I'll go ahead and click on my focus mask. My focus mask button is up on top, and as you can see, it populates a green mask around the images. So this image is in focus where this image, the eye might not be in focus and only the hair. Well, let's double check. I'm gonna click on one, I'm gonna click on the other one, and I'm going to press on the letter G to get out of the grid view and get back into the normal view. And let's compare. Let's zoom in. So that is Shift Command Plus on a Mac, and it is Shift Control Plus on a PC. And here we are, we sure can see that this image, the eye is perfectly in focus and this one is not. I can turn off the focus mask area and sure enough, this one is in perfect focus. We can see her eyelashes and this one is a little bit of, a little bit soft. Now, if you don't see your focus mask button up on top, you can place it up on top by right clicking in this area, clicking on customize toolbar, and then you have all kinds of ways you can customize. And here's my focus mask that I already dragged over here. So I already have it. Um, and you can drag other things if you like, and you will have your focus mask button right in there and you can just click on it very quickly. Another way to get to the focus mask is by going to the view and checking or unchecking the focus mask option. And here's also a bonus tip. You can control how you see this mask and how much focus you see by going to the Capture One 21 preferences and going into the focus mask option. And here we have a threshold. Now you may wanna play around with this threshold. Um, if you have a very high resolution camera, you may increase it to a fairly high number. If you have a lower resolution, you can uh, reduce it but let's see what happens if I crank this up to uh, about 300. I usually keep it somewhere around 210. That works out very well for me uh, for this Fuji camera. But as you can see, um, it, you might wanna play around with it and crank it up a little bit more depending on your camera. And also you can change the color of the masks if you're shooting gardens and landscapes you might not want to have this mask as a green mask you might want to change it to red or cyan or some other color that you don't have in your scene hey i hope this was helpful uh, check out the link down below for my online capture one classes coming up give us a thumbs up that really helps our youtube algorithm and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified on the next tip and for now, I'll see you next time.